Welcome to Two on the Six on Rugby World TV. Round three of the Six Nations is done and dusted, so let's take a look back at that game at Twickenham, England against France. France on course for the wooden spoon. I never thought I'd say it myself this year, but after defeat at Twickenham, it's crisis point for Philippe Saint-André's men. They were unlucky with Manu Tuolangi's try because Mako Bunipola was offside, but it didn't mask the fact that France, for the second week running, were just poor in the second half and didn't show anything. Having said that, what a fantastic try by Wesley Fofana, an outstanding individual effort and one of the best I've seen in Twickenham. England, meanwhile, march on, and it's difficult not to acknowledge that they're a very well-drilled and efficient side. Also in Owen Farrell, they have a Wilkinson-esque ability to keep that scoreboard ticking over. I've tried to avoid naming him until now because I'm still not sure he's the man for the test jersey, but it's undeniable that Chris Robshaw is an outstanding leader for England. He's surely going to get himself on tour, but I still think the question is, is he the best number seven there? So Sam Stockley on Twitter during the game said the French tactics were terrible in the second half. Why take off your best players? Weird decisions, good for England. Marco Piva on Twitter said, is the ref making any sense? He is leaning a bit too much towards the home team. Make sure you follow at Rugby World Mag on Twitter and me at Team Mag Sport. We've got another break in the Six Nations next week, but make sure you tune in next time.